This is a demonstration of Park's breakthrough low-cost readout technology for multiplexed fiber optic sensing. The initial prototype of this technology, shown here, is capable of monitoring up to 128 channels at 100 Hz with a resolution as high as 50 femtometers or better, which represents a factor of 10 to 20 times improvement over the state of the art in fiber optic sensing. The multiplexing is done using a combination of time domain multiplexing across the 8 channels shown here and up to 16 sensors wavelength multiplexed on each individual channel. All of the components for this readout fit in this box here for this early prototype. You can see there's quite a bit of empty space in this enclosure. We're presently working on a custom photonic integrated chip version of this that is expected to bring the size of this unit down further to about that of a smartphone. The technology can be extended further to monitor an even larger number of sensors with capabilities of up to 500 to 1000 channels. Here we have some of the channels instrumented for this demonstration. Some of them are connected to this 4 cell battery module shown here that has 8 fiber bragg grading sensors in the cells, while one of the channels is connected to this demonstration board here with 7 sensors wavelength multiplexed. Correspondingly, you see 15 peaks on the top half of this graphical user interface, while on the bottom half of the screen, we are focused on one of those channels, which is sensor A here on the demonstration board. The resolution of this unit is about 50 femtometers or better, which is about 5 millikelvin or better of temperature sensitivity and about 0 0.05 micro strain in mechanical strain resolution. To get a first hand feel for that physically, we are going to move a hand over this sensor A being monitored. Watch how the subtle temperature swing from the body heat causes the signal to go up. This is a very subtle temperature swing of about 0.2 mic degrees Celsius here. Next, we're going to bring an ice cube over the sensor, which is going to cause a cold spike and cause the signal to drop by a similar amount. Finally, we're going to tap this target here to cause mechanical strain spikes. Notice how the signal picks those spikes up and registers the intensity of the tap. Each time the scale is dynamically rescaling to accommodate the maximum signal, which is stronger for the taps than for the temp temperature swings and changes depending on the intensity of the tap. These fiber optic sensors can also be used to monitor other parameters such as gas evolution, chemical concentration, and even current and voltage sensing. While we developed this technology with the initial focus application of battery management systems in mind in this project, the sensing system shown here has much broader applicability to a wide range of energy, structural and other critical systems of interest for health management and other applications.